my little friends, nice to see you once again. Hello. I am Miss Seto. And I'm Mr. Mike. Today, we are going to talk about sports. Dress, chwen, vist avlit sportis sacheobibs. So, Mr. Mike, what comes to your mind when you think about sports? When I think about sports, I think about sailing. Sailing, okay, I will write this word. This sailing. This is when you go in a boat with a brightly colored sail. Super, sailing. Now, Snowba. Next one. And I think about cycling. Cycling, I will also write cycling. This is where you ride a bike and you go round and round a track very fast. Cycling, velocipedi stareba, velosporti. And in winter, I think about skiing. Skiing, yes. This is where you wear skis on your shoes and it's a winter sport, skiing. Skiing, trilamurabze, srials nishnas. And I also think about show jumping. Show jumping. Nay! Okay. I will write show jumping. This is where you ride a horse and it jumps over gates or water. Show jumping. Tsheosnoba. I also think about gymnastics. Gymnastics, yes. This is where you jump and leap and sometimes you have a brightly colored ribbon that you wave around. Tadvardishi, gymnastics. And I also think about judo. Judo, ho, yeah. Ho. This is a sport where you wear white or blue trousers, but no shoes, and you throw people on a mat. On the floor, on the yes, mat. Yes, on a, yes. <laughs> judo, judo. And now let's look through these words once again, but at this time we will use the pictures. Perfect. So here we can see a little girl with a sail. Mm -hmm. Sailing, sailing. Sailing, now snowba. And then we can see somebody skiing. Skiing. And there we can see a girl doing gymnastics. Gymnastics. Gymnastics? Danvarjishi. And here are two people wearing white, blue, no shoes. Judo. Judo. Judo? Judo. And now we can see somebody riding a horse. Show jumping, show jumping. Show jumping, tsheosnobas nishnas. And there we can see a little boy riding a bike. Cycling, cycling. Cycling, velocipedis tarebas nishnas, velo sports. And now, together, we will read short descriptions of each of the sports and learn some new and useful words. The correct answers will come up on the screen. So, first one, people wear big white or blue trousers and leave their shoes next to a big mat. Mm -hmm. What do we think that is? People wear big white or blue trousers and leave their shoes next to a big mat. And what is a mat? A mat is a soft covering on the floor so you don't hurt yourself when you fall. A mat. A mat. Khalicha pardagi. You think that's judo? Hmm, let's check. Yes, yes it's judo. Yes, it is. Good job. And we can see two sportsmen and they are wearing blue and white trousers and no shoes. That's great. Next one. 
Okay, in which sport do people see boats which have sails of bright colors? colors. Sails are big pieces of cloth that catch the wind to make them move. Sails. Sail, sails are smralubici, sail holubici, aprasnishnos. So, in which sport do people see boats which have sails of bright colors? Hmm. You think that's sailing? Let's check. Let's check. Yes, it is. Good job. Super. Next one. In which sport do people go round and round the track very fast? A track is something that you can run or cycle on. It's a track. A track. Biliki gza. So, in which sport do people go round and round the track very fast. And they use the bikes as well. They do use the bikes, <laughs> yes. So, which sport? Yes, it is cycling. cycling. Next one. In which sport do horses nay, jump over big gates and over water? Gates are Fences that can be high or, or low. low. High, high or low. low. And the horses jump over them. Gate. Tsinagoba and Ubralut Chishkari. So, in which sport do the horses jump over big gates and over water? Hmm. You think that's show jumping? Let's check. It is show jumping. Good job. Let's do the next one. Yes. <clears throat> In which sport do people use skis? And it's a winter sport. Skis are things that you wear on your shoes. They're long and they allow you to move across the snow. Skis, trilamurebi. So, in which sport do people use skis and it's a winter sport? Hmm. You think that's skiing? Let's check. It is skiing. Perfect. Good job. <laughs> so, let's do the next one. In which sport do people jump, leap and use a ribbon? Leap is like jump, but you move further forward. You leap. And a ribbon is a brightly colored string that you wave in the air. A ribbon. Leap, nacht omsnishnas, did nacht omsnishnas, the ribbon lenta. So, in which sport do people jump, leap, and use a ribbon. It's a very beautiful kind of sport. It really is. And you it think it's is gymnastics? Gymnastics, that's right. Super, super kids. It's grammar time. Ekhleki, so the grammar tickets. Chonuko gwaks na stavli modaluri zna ken. Kaxot, shemidzlia. I can, you can, he can, da so shemdek. Uh, let's recall this modal verb can. For example, I, I can ski. Me shemizliya tkhila murebze sriyali. And what about you? What you cannot do? I can't cycle. Cycle. He can't cycle. Mr. Mike, Mr. Mike can't you remember the short form of cannot can't what you can't cycle cycle mr mike's are shoulds to me velocipedist can't can't 
არ შემიძლია. დღეს ჩვენ უნდა ვისწავლოთ კიდე ერთი მოდალური ზმნა და ეს არის should. Should. ნახეთ როგორი რბილი სიტყვა. და როდის ვიყენებთ ამ მოდალურ ზმნა shoulds, როდესაც გვინდა ვინმეს უთხრეთ რჩევა. და ვეუბნებით, აი ეს უნდა გაკეთდეს. მე აქციეთ ყურადღება რომ ყველა პირთან ფორმა should არ იცვლება. I should you should he should she should it should we should and they should so you have one new word and it is the word gym gym you can see the picture of the gym as well es ari sportuli darbazi sport darbazi da modit shevadginot tsinadeba for example i should go to the gym me unda tsavida sportul sport darbashi you should go to the gym if you want to keep fit you should go to the gym he should go to the gym she ert gogostan ert kaltan kho gavsot she should go to the gym sigi formashi tu gvinda vigot unda vtkvat we should go to the gym she should go to the gym it should go to the gym we all of us should go to the gym and they should go to the gym sigi kida vartkho gym ari sport darbazi da rodesats adamians vurchevt ragats unda gaketes viqenebt modalur zna should let's practice on should for example all of us we should chwen unda we should wash our hands properly every day we should wash our hands we should wash our hands ხელები უნდა დავიბანოთ ყოველ დღე we should რჩევას ვაძლევთ ადამიანს და ვამბობთ რომ უნდა გავაკეთოთ ამ შემთხვევაში უნდა დავიბანოთ ხელები but what about question forms it's so easy როგორც ხედავთ we არის პირველ ადგილას should არის მეორე ადგილას და უბრალოდ რას ვაკეთებთ ცვლით ადგილებს should გადადის პირველ ადგილას and you write but don't forget about capital letter yes should we gadadis ukve meore adgiles should we da rats tseria danarcheni ubrod gadatseret should we wash our hands every day for example but don't forget about question mark should we wash our hands so once again in the affirmative we say we should in the questions we just change the positions and we say should we so miss eto now we know how to form questions with should mm -hmm. what about the negative form negative form it's so easy we just add to this modal verb should the negative word not okay esegi uarqopit tsinadebeshi ki ubralot should modalur zna should unda daumatot not sitwa not for example we should not be noisy Uh, at school. Skola shi ar unda vikhmaurot. Tselkova kargia, magam talian khmauri ar varga. And we should not be noisy at school. Dagurdit ra gavaketet ubralot modalur zna shoots davamate tu ar qopiti sitqa not. But this should not has its short form as well, okay? ამ should not ანუ გრძელ ფორმას აქვს თავისი მოკლე ფორმა და მოდი დავწეროთ იგივე წინადება ოღონ ოღონ თუ უკვე შემოკლებულ ვარიანტად we shouldn't 
shouldn't just like this we shouldn't uh-huh i will change it like this we shouldn't be noisy modal urzna should viqenept mashin rodesets adamians vazlevt rchevas da vambopt rom ragats unda gaketes and now let's practice on this modal verb should um, and uh, fill in the gaps with the should or shouldn't. So let's fill in the gaps with should or shouldn't. Fill in the gaps with should or shouldn't. She have said gamoto ebuliad gilebi should an should not is gamok enebit. So the first example is given and you shouldn't play with matches. Mm, it is so dangerous. Asanti, I see two matches. Asans nishnos. Da asanti tarunda vita mashoti mitoro esaris sahipato sashishia. We shouldn't play with matches. Matches, it is dangerous. dangerous. What about next one? So we should or shouldn't play football in the house. Mm -hmm. We should or shouldn't play football in the house. What do we think? That's right. That is right. We shouldn't play football in the house because lots of things will get broken. Yes. So we definitely shouldn't play football in the house. And we use the short form, shouldn't. So let's look at the next one. Children should or shouldn't learn English. Let's give a hint. You and we should, should. of course. Children. Children should learn English. I think everybody should learn Absolutely. English. Absolutely. I have dirty hands. And should I wash them or I shouldn't wash them? Should or shouldn't? Yes, you're right. I should wash them properly. I have dirty hands. Dirty. I have dirty hands and I should wash them. And the last one. Pay attention, it is question and should or shouldn't we be careful, careful when we ride a horse. That's right, we should, but this is the question form. And yes, you are right, we just use should. Should we be careful when we ride a horse? And the answer will be yes, we should, should be careful when we ride a horse. And now it's homework time. It's homework time. And today we have two pieces of homework. Mm -hmm. The first piece, we match the words with the given pictures. So we match the words with the given pictures. Daukashiret sitwebi motsemu surateps. Shekhedet kutshi gak sitwebi. In the box, you have the words gymnastics, cycling, skiing, show jumping, judo, and sailing. There are on the gavaket. Show sabamut surati sitwas. For example, the first one, you can see two people fighting with each other. So, what sports is it? Yes, it is judo. And 
We are crossing gao judo and we write this word here. That's right. And the rest of them, you will do at home. What about next one? For the next piece of homework, <clears throat> we fill in the gaps with should or shouldn't. So we fill in the gaps with should or shouldn't. She has said, Gamut of Buliad Gilebi should, should not his Gamok and a bit. Rogers Vivarji should. The first example we will do together. For example, you, you wear a helmet. Do you remember the word helmet? Chaphuti. Mm -hmm. Wear a helmet when you go skiing. So you should or shouldn't, shouldn't. wear a helmet. Met. That's right, we should. And why should we wear a helmet when we go skiing? Because it protects your head. You remember that from the earlier lessons, mm -hmm. it protects your head. That's right. And the rest of them, please do at home. And don't forget to send your homework to the address on the screen. Bye! Bye kids, see you next time!